Hello friends, welcome back. So today's video is one that I feel like I used to do these, you know, I don't know, almost like quarterly, like a life update, what's going on with us, that kind of thing. I feel like it's been a while since I've had the opportunity to just sort of sit down and fill you guys in. I see a cobweb over there. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. How have I not seen that? Okay. Great, we're gonna have to deal with that after this is over because now that's gonna haunt me. It looks like a Halloween decoration. It's giant and it's in my bedroom and I don't know how I haven't seen it before now. That's not the point of this video though. The point of this video is that I don't feel like I often get to just like chat with you guys and catch up. I'm trying not to move a lot because I have you balanced on something on my bed so that I could just sit and be comfy. But every time I move, you guys move a little bit which will make you seasick. So I'm gonna try, it's gonna be really hard for me because I'm very like, Whoa! I can hold you still. I can hold you. Shh, it's okay. Shh, we're in this together, okay? Good. I have not been drinking, by the way, because you're wondering. Just coffee. I'm in a good mood, and I'm just gonna roll with it. All right, so I do legitimately have some actual updates to share with you, um, and as the title probably hinted at, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Isn't that the way of it, you guys? Like life is just sometimes really exciting, fun, great things are happening, but also at the same time, some sad bummer things are happening. So, want, want. Are you guys the kind of people that like good news first or bad news? I always ask my husband, do you want the good news or bad news? And he usually wants me to start with the bad news. Do you guys want the good news or the bad news first? It's too late. You don't get to actually tell me, so I'm gonna have to guess what you want first. Judging by the fact that our most clicked on videos are videos where y'all think something is wrong. Can I go on a rant for a second? It's not a rant, it's only funny. People get so mad if they feel like a title is clickbait even when it's not. Y'all, we do not use clickbait. Actual clickbait is when your title and thumbnail eludes to something that is not in your video, that is not legitimately in your video. Clickbait would be a title and thumbnail that says, I'm pregnant. And then you open it up and it's like, with a giant sandwich that I ate for lunch, that's clickbait. Um, just something seeming dramatic and not being as dramatic as you were hoping it would be is not actual clickbait. That is my rant on that. We don't get accused of it often because we try very hard to be pretty transparent with our titles and thumbnails, but what I do think is funny is that um, people wonder why YouTubers do that. It's because those are the videos that people watch. Like the reality is, is people are looking for, um, it's almost like, I mean, this is why reality TV and drama shows and things like that are so popular. They're looking for the drama. They wanna see something. People say they want like happy, authentic stuff, but if you just put up a video that says like, great time at the park, or fun family day at the park, it's not gonna get as many views as if you put up a video that says like, my kids scraped their knee, emergency room trip, um, this is really hard, or I'm really sad, or like anything like that gets way more views than happy-go-lucky stuff. So when people say that's what they want, it always makes me laugh a little bit because I'm like, that's not what the numbers say and we can only go off numbers, we can't possibly know how people feel all the time. But I just always think it's interesting because we actually, most creators um, that I am friends with, that I talk to, um, about sort of strategy and our jobs and things like that. Like we all agree that th titles, thumbnails, these are things that we like stress over completely because for many of us, this is our job and we want to see growth. We want to see, you know, we want to see our channels reach wider audiences and things like that. But it's really, really difficult when this particular industry right now, the way to grow isn't, um, isn't just with putting up happy, go lucky, family friendly, content that's not how people are growing it's always a balancing of the scales you know trying to put up good entertaining content um, that grabs people's attention but at the same time obviously not going over the top with clickbait and drama and ridiculousness like faking things you know that sort of thing i mean there's lots of youtubers who are doing some really gross things for and i don't say gross as in like dirty picking their nose farting i mean gross as in horrifically made up lies about things that are happening in their life or that have happened to them or are currently going on in order to garner views and whatever. So that's a rant for another day, even though I already made it into like a five minute rant in this video. Do you guys want the actual like life update? Okay, here we go. 
we got to get into this or y'all are going to be here all day. I hope you got your coffee. You should know if you see me in the title of a sit down video that you're going to need your coffee or your wine or your tea or your whatever it is that you drink, your gallon jug of water if you're a healthy person, whatever it is. Let's start with the good news because I am all for acknowledging the good and exciting things. You're actually probably going to kind of hate me because I can't be super specific yet. But two things. Number one, you should be watching this video on Thursday, which means that on Monday, October 8th, something new and exciting is coming to our channel. You will want to be here Monday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern time. You can't make it right at seven, I understand. But sometime Monday morning, you're gonna wanna land yourself back here to see what my sister and I have been working on, which is also going to explain to you what's going on in the shed. And I know many of you have been guessing that it's the podcast finally happening. That is not it. Unfortunately, it is not it. We are still working on that. And like I've, I've always said, like, I'm not sure how much I can say, which is why this is why you guys, YouTubers and other, you know, people don't, don't tell you things because sometimes it takes a really long time for these things to come to fruition. So for us, we have been working with a production, sort of like a production company to put together our podcast because, um, I'm a one woman show for the most part at this point, And so I don't have a lot of help with editing and other pieces. So it was something we really wanted to do, but that I didn't necessarily have the time to add to my plate, all of the business back end stuff that comes with running a podcast. So we've been working with the production company. So that means that timelines, timeframes, when and how, and all of that is not entirely up to us. So that's what we have been waiting on is further steps with them. Um, I can tell you that there uh, are many episodes already recorded and ready to go. So when it does finally make it to the point that it's available on iTunes or Stitcher or whatever, um, there will be hopefully a couple of at least a few episodes um, ready for you guys to listen to. So that's kind of the update on the podcast. Um, I will keep you posted as I know more. The other exciting thing that Ash and I are working on will be live here on my channel Monday morning, October 8th at 7 a.m. Eastern time. That will uh, explain what's going on in the shed. It will all make sense. And I think you guys are really gonna like it. Based on feedback we've had from you guys about other things we've done that you guys love. And um, yeah, I don't wanna give too much away, but it's gonna be really fun. And Ash and I are both super excited about it. And I know a lot of you guys have been miss missing Ashley. She has not been super active on her YouTube channel. Um, and she's got her own reasons. I'll let her explain all that to you. But if you have been missing her, that is where you will find her. It's here on my channel on Monday morning. The second update is probably, I will hopefully, fingers crossed, I would not even bring this up if I didn't know for sure that in the next week or two, I would be able to come out with it completely. But I'm going to be sharing with you guys the biggest news I have shared with you since we found out we were pregnant with the twins. This is for, for sure the biggest news we've shared since I found out I was pregnant with the twins or since the twins were born. I mean, this is the biggest thing I've shared in a long time and it's going to be all of the like information, everything is going to be coming to my channel, hopefully next week, if not the week after. It is, it's just such huge news. I cannot, oh, I can hardly contain it. I want to just like blurt it out right now and tell you all the things, but I can't yet. So stay tuned. I'm giving you guys this kind of preemptive, these things are coming because oftentimes right now with YouTube, the way that it, things are crazy with YouTube right now, absolutely crazy. People are not getting videos and subscription boxes. People are not getting notifications who are signed up for them. Um, I don't ever really encourage you guys to sign up for notifications, not because I don't love you and want you to be here with bells on as soon as my videos go up, but because I live in a world where I don't want my phone digging at me all the time. And I love you guys and I don't, I don't want to ask you to do that either. So if you are someone who has notifications on, we love you and I appreciate that so much. Um, but it's not something that I typically ask you guys to say like, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. I mean, the, the landscape of YouTube is now that like, even sometimes when you have notifications, you still 
miss things. So it stinks. So that's why I'm telling you that these things are coming up is so that um, if in the next week or two you think like, hey, I know Ange had some cool stuff that was coming, but I don't know what it was and I haven't seen anything, it's probably because for some reason it's not coming through subscription boxes or whatever. So you'll know to come back here to my channel and um, check it out and look for those videos. So that's why I'm letting you know that they're coming. What's up, babe? We just have so many fun things coming up. Sierra and I have some announcements and things like that. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for those things. The main reason I'm putting up this video is obviously all that information before is good and useful information, but it's to share sort of this bad news with you. But I didn't want to make a whole video that was just like bad news, guys. I don't know. I just, that felt, that felt like really like negative to me. I don't know. I just didn't want to do that. So I figured I would share the stuff that's coming up and then also share the bummer. I don't want to call it bad news because I feel like these things happen for a reason and it's going to be fine. It's just changing things. So as you guys know, we shared with you probably two months ago that Sierra and I were going to be heading to Africa with Moana Villages and we shared about their organization and just how much we love it and how excited we are to be partnering with them and working on some projects with them. And unfortunately, due to some things that are out of our control um, on our end, not theirs, not theirs by at any by any means, it's all on our end, but things that we can't control, as you guys can imagine, it is challenging to get out of the country for seven days when you have seven kids at home. Um, and unfortunately, we just had some things happen that we, we can't change. So uh, we will not be able to go with Moana Villages to Congo in October. And I am, well, I guess that's this month. Um, I am so devastated, y'all. It took me like forever to send the email and tell her and just, I have been so beside myself upset about it because we were both looking forward to it so much and I really wanted to be there on the ground sharing those stories with you guys because one of the things I love the most about this community is that when Ciara and I really share from our hearts, very heartfelt um, things that we want you guys to like move to action and we're like, will you help us? You know, let's support these people. Let's support this organization. You guys move. When we bring it up and we're like, this is a big deal. We really think that you guys would enjoy being a part of this and you could be a part of something bigger than yourself. You guys take action. And I love that about you because it's so close to my heart. I'm, a, I'm all about taking action, being a part of something bigger than yourself. And I just am so bummed because I really, really wanted for us to be able to firsthand on the ground, share more about Moana with you right now so that we can help them with the projects that they have coming up. And it's not that it's a never. In fact, we probably are gonna be going with them in the early part of 2019. It's just that this October trip is not gonna happen for us. Their team is still going. It's not that trip wasn't planned around us by any means. Their team is still going. We were just going as a part of it. Um, so what I'm going to ask is that if you guys have not already, would you consider going and liking their Facebook page, liking their Instagram account, following along? If um, if you are in a position where you have a little extra money, uh, would you consider donating to Moana? They are collecting money, like I said, as they are trying to build a school and a new baby house. I don't know exactly how many babies they have there right now, but in a six month span, they got 21 new babies and they need more space. Um, I cannot tell you enough how much I believe in this organization. I believe in what they're doing. Their hearts are in the right place. They put reunification above everything else. Um, the Congolese community there is very supportive of their work. In fact, a lot of the funds that are raised for the Moana Refuge are raised by Congolese people within their community. So it's, I just, I believe in them so much and the work that they are doing. and. I would, it would absolutely just warm my heart if y'all would go like, follow, just sort of learn a little bit more by following them. I promise you the stories will move you. You know, Sierra and I are firm believers that to whom much is given, much is expected. And so if you are someone that has been blessed in your life and you feel like you would like to pay that forward, Moana is an amazing place to pay it forward. So I will leave all their information down below in the description box so that you guys can go find them 
donate, order a t-shirt. I hope that Ciara and I will be able to be on the ground with them there in Congo sometime in 2019. And we will be able to share with you guys more firsthand accounts of the work that they're doing, the lives that they're changing, the people that they're helping in that community. It's just, it's such powerful, incredible work. I've been so bummed and hesitant to tell you guys. We've known for a couple of weeks that we weren't gonna be able to go and um, I just have hesitated to tell you guys because I'm so bummed and I kept kind of thinking like, well, maybe something would happen, something would change, and it hasn't. It's just sort of a change of plans long term. It doesn't mean we're never going or anything like that. It just means that this trip, we have to sit out. So anyways, that's the update, guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to share with you. There probably is. There's always stuff. I feel all the time like I should just sit down and tell them about that. But yeah, all right guys, that's the update. Like I said before, you're definitely gonna wanna be here over the next couple of weeks. We've got some really exciting announcements coming and something very fun coming on Monday. So be here. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already and we will see you guys again very soon. Bye.